Hello everyone, hope you are doing very well. This video will be part of Copilot series, and in this video, I will be demonstrating a feature which is based on Copilot and AI, which is collection coordinator summary. So this feature is now available from 10 40 version as a general availability as of now from last year june 2023 it was part of preview features so this feature have three for has three for you know purposes one is provide customer account information another is help you make better decisions about your customers and another is increase efficiency by drafting reminder emails that you can edit and then send your customers I will quickly jump into the dynamic system of finance and operation and I will showcase how to how what is this feature about and why this is part of copilot and what it is actually benefiting all the customers and what is the what is the value add you can get it from your you know uh, uh, from from the from this feature so before that I will just talk about this prerequisite so I will not go into very detail so you can just come into this uh, you know uh, page which is collection coordinator summary from microsoft learn microsoft documentation and you can follow this prerequisite so for prerequisite you need to uh, you know log in into the power platform admin center and need to follow these steps you need to install the application in, and then you need to install the copilot so you can just follow this step or you can ask your developer or your technical person to install this copilot if you have not done so okay so these are the uh, prerequisite to enable this feature so once this uh, you know uh, prerequisites are done and completed you can come back to your dynamic system of finance and operation and from the feature management you will see two features i will just type collections okay so these two features like collection coordinator summary and collection coordinator workspace so basically these two features and this one feature is called collection work coordinators workspace this has to be enabled before this collection co coordinator summary is enabled so this collection coordinator workspace is basically helping a uh, user or any account receiver or any account pay, uh, you know uh, uh, collection agent to help to see the customer details customer history payment details in one form so this feature is exactly doing the same thing so once you enable these two features from the feature management, you can come back to credit and collections and then the new workspace will be available, which is collection coordinator. So this collection coordinator workspace brings this form and in this upper portion of this form, if there is any activity like, you know, uh, follow up and all dispute, uh, new event appointment, it would, it would show here. And if not, still in this left hand side, highest balances and agent and right hand side, agent balances tab will be visible. So, what is this highest balances? Is basically saying from the first, you know, uh, which customer having how many balances? Say, suppose this beach company holding the highest balances of the organization from the organization. After that, which customer? The sunset wholesales, so on and so forth. So this will be from descending order like who are the who which customer are the highest highest uh, you know data and then so on and so forth this will be going and after that you will see the credit limit also visible beside of this current balance after that it will be it will be showing the credit available how many are available for this customer and after that in this form it will show as risk score so it is coming from the risk score from the customer master what is the resource of the customer and after that a credit rating will come like poor good and excellent so from where it is taking basically i will i will take you to this so if i go to customer account and if i go to credit management i will have this risk score so risk score is five okay from here it is taking to that page and if you talk about this uh, credit rating it is coming from here credit rating so it is coming from the master so like i mentioned it is very much easier for a user or a manager account receivable manager to see everything about the customers in one form i will just demonstrate how 
and why I am saying this, I don't need to go here and there and see invoices, collection agent and all. So basically, like I mentioned, everything about this customer will be visible and you can add other, co other columns as well in this tab. So if I say, suppose I want to add uh, credit rating, account number, everything which is available in customer master and then form, you will be able to add those in this form. So you can just analyze by having in only one form. In the right side, it talks about the aged balances. See, this aged balance like current 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, 180 and over, it is coming from the setup of aging period definition. See, this sunset wholesales, it is falling under this. Only a few invoices are pending, which is falling under 180 days and above. Similarly, for which company? Some invoices are 84,550 falling under this bracket and rest which are all falling under this bracket. And it also talk, it also shows the account status of the customer. So suppose this customer is on hold. This will also talk about show that this is hold. Okay. After that, now comes to the main part. Once we are done, say suppose I want to and also I want to see for a particular customer. I don't want to see all the customer. I can always you know filter with this customer details suppose i want to filter with this customer okay which company and it will only show for that company's details okay i will remove it and now after this i will come to the main part so now as of now we have only seen the highest balances and aging uh, age, age, age balances now i want to see everything about this cust for about that customer or one particular customer in one form so I will click on this customer name and it will take me to another page. And this page is basically using the copilot and AI functionality. Now, if you see, this is a summarization by the copilot. It is saying that which company has poor credit rating and recently defaulted on this. So now imagine to, to see this, a collection agent or an account receivable clerk has to go to customer master or customer transaction to see the default and all this will take a lot of time it takes a lot of time so now copilot is basically giving these details on your behalf and you don't need to spend any time it is also summarizing the details so what i will do i will just maximize it for you so that you can see it so now if you see this is a summarization about this customer this copilot is doing on behalf of you that this this customer has a balance due of this amount usd with 5150106 USD overdue, they have been sent 20 invoices in the past six months. The customer's payment history shows their last payment was received on this date for this amount. Their remaining credit amount is this. Okay, this is the summarization which Copilot is doing on your behalf. You don't need to spend hours to get this data. It will just in fact a fraction of a second it, it it will do that. Okay. And in the right hand side, if you see, this is basically giving the visualization that uh, in you know in a graphical presentation, how many are falling under which bracket with green green you know color. You can also change this aging period definition from here itself. You can also filter with reporting currency as well. Okay. So now imagine this customer is defaulting this and you want to send one email. So here, if you see the create reminder email, you just click on it and it will basically draft an email for you based on the summarization just wait for a minute or a few seconds it will create a draft for you okay so if you see this email has been written by the uh, co-pilot using the ai functionality ai framework and it is taking outstanding invoice reminder is a subject and it is say, sending the email from the customer contact details and it is saying hope i hope dear god of i hope this finds uh, finds you well i am writing to inform you that beach com beach company currently has 18 outstanding invoices and what do of this balance we kindly request that these invoices be settled as soon as possible to avoid any late charges your prompt attention to this matter would be greatly appreciated thank you for your cooperation so basically this is creating a uh, drafting an email for you you can edit it and you can send it directly from here so we'll go back to this form and then i talk about these tabs so okay before talking about this tab i will also talk about that see from here itself 
you can see all the activities which has been done for this customer if you want to see all the invoices you can just click on this invoice it will see all the invoices from the past if you want to see how many collection letter has been sent for this uh, customer you will see this customer collection letter has been sent for this customer if you want to see how many payment has been done for this customer you can see this payment receipt payment receipt on which date it will show in the one form Similarly, if you have any appointment with this customer, in task with this customer, action with this customer, event, you can see in one page only. So you don't need to go here and there. It, it will really, uh, you know, make someone's life very easier. Okay. So now if I, if I see this view customer from here, you can just click on view customer. It will take you to the customer master. From here, you can create the payment journal. You can also update the aging from here and you can create a new activity like appointment event you know you can just uh, create it from here if say suppose i want to create a task you can just write a task and what is this task about it will create the task from here and it will show from here itself okay so this is all about this action pins now if i talk about this tab i think you understand that it is talking about only open transaction whatever is open for this customer as of now you can click on this change status and you can just click change this to dispute it okay and if i click change status so now it will be gone from here and it will come here in disputed invoices see it will also show what are the promises to pay amount for this customer if there is any unsettled payments an advanced payment it will also show from here itself if i go back to this open transaction back I can reprint it. I can write it off from here. I can settle it with my with invoices. And I can also see collection history as well. Okay, so this is all about this collection coordinator summary. And the nice part is this copilot. It is actually using the copilot using the summary feature, and it is summarizing in in few seconds so that you don't need to make this summary for this customer. It's and and rather the copilot will make the summary and. It will also help you to send an email to the customer. So that's it about this co-pilot, you know, in collection coordinator summary. And of course, the collection coordinator workspace will help a lot to an account receivable manager, account receivable manager, uh, collection agent. So it will make their life much easier than, uh, than the previous. Okay, so that's it about this copilot feature. I hope you have liked it. You will be able to showcase or you will be able to, you know, use it in your organization or in your implementation. It will help you, you know, to cut short some time from the daily life. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another video like this. Bye for now.